Hey Nesters, today I am at my local Salvation Army. We're going to check it out. They tend to have a decent amount of vintage donated to this particular one, so I always like to go there about at least once a month. This box caught my attention. It was hiding behind this cabinet here. Uh, I love the graphics on it. I was trying to figure out... Oh, it's like a little little picnic set. Oh my goodness. A little like enamel teapot. That's so cute. This would be adorable just to like display. Obviously it's like a child's play set here but it does look like there's you know it was used so there's some damage to it but how fun is that? I would have loved to have this set as a little girl. It definitely looks like there's some pieces missing, but wow, that is adorable. I wonder how much this is. I'm seeing a price on it. Their stickers are pretty small here, so I kind of have to root around. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, right there, $8.99. It's not too bad. I love the store because they always kind of set things up by themes. They have this like little sewing area. I saw this little tin here with the buttons. I could tell there's something inside. There it is. That's what's inside. It's like a little sewing kit. That's so cute. What is that? It's like... Is it spin? It's all the little threads on it. That is a well-compacted little sewing kit. And the most adorable tin. I think I'm going to grab that. That's pretty cool. Here's in Kenmore instruction book for your sewing machine. It has like original receipts and stuff. <laughs> and that's pretty neat. I always wanted to learn how to sew. It's on my list. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I just need to get a sewing machine and a little bit of knowledge. This so little sewing kit 10 was $1.99. I'm really ramping up my thrifting out these next few weeks because I have some whatnot trains coming up with my YouTube friends. Uh, one of the trains is a all dog themed train and it's an hour long slot so I need to find a lot of dogs. But at the same time I'm trying to be picky about condition and things like that. It's been a little bit tricky finding, you know, the right dogs to get. These are fun, what are these? It's like some type of a wallpaper, maybe like a drawer liner. There's two of them. I don't see any price. Nice little cutting board here. I feel like it's more for decor at this point. They are asking $4.99. Alright, so let's check out their Nicky Knack shelf. Let's see if we can find any dogs over here. It's quite a bit here. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where to start. <laughs> I'm mostly trying to look for dogs or some other things for a few of my other trains I'm doing. It's a cute little redware skunk. He's got some condition issues, but he's sweet. Look at this. That is brass. Is solid brass $8.99 for this clown bank. It's missing its stopper, but this is pretty epic. I think I'm willing to pay up for this too. Uh, they're valued probably around $30 or so. I think it's worth that. That's so great. I was actually thinking about doing a all brass theme train on whatnot. Uh, so many going on right now, so I might just hang on to them and uh Save them for that whenever I get around to doing that train. This enormous picture frame is really cramping my style here. <laughs> it's totally in my way. Uh, let's move it to the side a little bit and see what is hiding out down here. Oh, this. Look at that. <laughs> she's holding like a. Is it a piggy? I think she's holding a little piggy. $3.99. I love these little knickknacks with the little buckets on the side where you can store different things. I mean, originally intended for a candle, I think, but 
definitely useful for other things as well. Nice little trinket dish for your bits and bobs. I've never seen that one before. Oh, Noah's Ark piece. And this could be a good giveaway. Is that cats? I've never seen cats on Noah's Ark before. This one's fine. It's got some raccoons. Yeah, this is really cute. Oh no, it's got a chip on the ear. Womp womp. I think this is technically a dog. I don't know how I feel about the piece though. It might just because I don't really like blue, but isn't it a dog or is that a bunny? I think it's a dog. $1.99. Yeah, these, these like blue and white figurines like this, I see them often and I don't tend to pick them up. I just, I don't know. It's like one of those things you don't get very excited about. You don't really, you know, take the time to move it along. I'll set it in the cart and think about it. I'm not feeling too crazy about it. $1.99. She's cute. Little uh, Capo de Monte type piece here. Yep. Little petal. I'm broken, of course. <laughs> Another little piggy. Oh, it's a candle. What a candle uh, holder. I have one of these because I love the orange and yellow, of course. This little dog, I believe it was a home co piece from the 70s. Um, maybe. Oh, look, there's some more fun things down here. What, <laughs> what is going on here? They made such unusual knickknacks. What is this? Just a picture frame, I guess? <laughs> well, that's kind of fun. A little wagon. Oh, there's a candle in it. 1986. You guys know I love these little, like, wholesome knickknacks. I think they're so cute. I've never seen one with a candle in it, like, in the wagon before. A unicorn? What? That's fun. $1.99. Looks like the same maker on all those. Everyone's holding a little critter here. I think there's a frog on this one. Oh my god, this one does have a dog. I am looking for dogs. It's kind of cute, a little boy holding the puppy there. $1.99. I don't know. I do kind of like it, little Dalmatian. I'll think about this one too. I'll set that in there. Okay, where did we leave off? Let's see what else there is. <gasps> Oh my goodness, how kitschy is this elephant? I'll always remember. It does appear to be a couple of petals that might be a little blemished. It's too good to leave behind, isn't it? I mean, that petal just looks like a barrette. It doesn't look that bad to me. I mean, it might have had a bigger flower there, but it's kind of hard to tell. I will add it to my cart of think about it. <laughs> do you guys do that too? Do you set things in the cart and when you just can't decide and you need to think about it a little bit longer while you're shopping? I find it helpful because you will have regrets often if you just pass something by. But if you put it in the cart for a little bit, you, it's almost like you feel like you, you had it, right? And then you, you had your time with it and you're like, yeah, I guess, I guess I'm good with not taking that so I am gonna get the little unicorn girl I think there's a lot of unicorn fans I think she'll do good and I do kind of like this one it's very different it has the cat little wagon very wholesome and little candle holder so I think that's different I like that one so in the cart with her and back to this little figurine I don't know I mean it is a dog but what does the tag say underneath there? See if we can pull it up a little bit. It's marked. I 
it might say made in China. Um, yeah, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not that excited. Let's put it back. I think that's going to do it for this side. I think I got everything. This guy kind of looks like a Hummel. It's not a Hummel, but made to look like one. Little Victorian lady. Very sticky. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These look like they go together like a little set, but... It's technically a dog. He's got some little apples, like little Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> got some Avon bottles. What else we got? What is this? <laughs> okay, that's a first. A piggy Santa Claus. That might qualify from a trippy train that I'm doing with Yvonne. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I have never seen such a thing. All right. It's a little vintage Valentine's. Maybe like a cake topper, a cupcake topper. Definitely looks like it has some age to it. What I don't know how to make out that price. FF29. So I'm not sure <laughs> how much it is. Don't don't recognize that that amount. <laughs> not seeing much else. A couple trivets here. I think I've seen these here before actually. I think they've been here a while, little seasonal ones. This one is gonna fall, but Look at her, she's definitely had some life. Look at all the chippy paint. $2.99. Some people enjoy that kind of character. She looks kind of haunting to me. Oh, what is this guy? Is that a pig? Or is it a rhino? What is it? Let's, let's get this stuff out of the way. See if I can get him out. He looks like a happy guy from what I can see so far. Oh yeah, I think it's a hog. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what are they asking? $8.99 for that. I will say the Trippyville train that I was invited to join has me a bit stumped. I'm not exactly sure what to get for it. Uh, I think I might grab that little Santa pig though. These are $0.49, cents, these little vintage Thanksgiving... Uh, what do they call those? I forget the name. Honeycomb? Is that right? They have one up here. They're all unfortunately damaged. Otherwise, I would have snagged them, but all kind of squished and ripped. Hmm. Lots of teddy bears. I don't do well selling bear stuff, so I usually just leave it. Now, this here I have seen before, and I pick it up every time. I do kind of have an excuse to pick it up this time because I am doing the dog train, but it's still very damaged. Every time I come back it still has the same damage. <laughs> it says 1944 I believe is the copyright. It says on the side there lots of dings and chips in it. It's so unfortunate and it's it's just tricky to try to pick up something like this and expect to resell it damaged like that. I struggle with it because it is very cool. Some pretty embroidered linens. Oh they're stuck together. They're selling them as a set. Oh, these ones are stained though. That's unfortunate. Those are very pretty. I love the yellow trim. I see a bird planter there. Nothing else is really catching my attention. Do a quick scan before we check that out. Okay, let's go over to this. Is it a pelican? I'm not sure. I think it's a pelican. Oh, it's Hager. That's interesting. They are asking, oh, there's a big chip on it. I think they're asking $8.99 on it. Oh, wow, here's a legit Capo de Monte. It's made in Italy. It's got the sticker. Definitely seen better days. Lots of paint chipping there. 
let's see what else I got going on with it. Another marking on the inside there. The candlestick is pretty great there. So what is this guy? Wait, what does that say? How much is it? $9,999. That's one popular sheep. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot afford that today. I don't get that kind of money. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a little doggy on a rock. I wonder what type of dog that's supposed to be. I don't recognize the breed. This is really well painted. $2.99. Yeah, super pretty. There's some cool mosaics down here. Super nice. Oh, it's heavy. Those will probably be a nightmare to ship. This is kind of trippy, right? See, $2.99. Oh, it looks like it's broken. It looks like they cemented this colorful glass on the outside of the glass photo there. Oh yeah, it's really cracked in there. I almost cut my finger. If you saw anything you like, be sure to check me out over on Whatnot on Monday to shop the haul, and again on Tuesday night for a theme sale. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.